What's up guys, Ty Hansen here at The Real Shot. Another quick little video for you. This spring, smallmouth, been pretty much dominant in, uh, in some of these major tournaments that we're seeing. Right now is day one, I believe, of the Sturgeon Bay Open, where you're gonna see some of the biggest bags of smallmouth in the country. And a lot of them are gonna come off of one of the baits we posted yesterday. A lot of them are also gonna come off these baits right here, the hair jig, infamous bait for smallmouth springtime pre-spawn. And actually you can use these things all year, but they dominate in cooler water. Uh, very simple, hardly any action with these things. Um, you can fish them like a jig on the bottom, but the primary thing that people are using these for, you make long, long casts with these and reel them nice and slow, like as slow as you painfully possibly can and they, they get slurped. So big smallmouth, these things just trick them. Um, we carry a, a brand called Green Bay Hair Jigs. The guy is a local guy. They're all tied on tungsten heads, which is something a little bit different than a lot of the other premium hair jigs are made from, or are made on. Um, he uses premium hair, premium hackle, premium tying, and uh, obviously premium heads. These are all tied on Kitex super round heads. So the quality of Kitek hooks, the quality of the jigs, second to none. And uh, what you get is when you use one of these tungsten heads, you get a much sleeker profile than you would if you used lead, obviously. That's the, uh, the upside of tungsten is you get about a 50% to 60% decrease in size for the same amount of weight. So this little 1 16th ounce one here uh, doesn't seem like it would change a lot, but um, I'm talking about this yesterday, physics and stuff like that, the smaller the head, the sleeker it is with the same amount of weight wheel cast further than a lead head with a bigger, wider profile uh, going through the wind, even if it is the same size. Same thing with the eighth ounce. We do carry these two sizes. I believe we have eight different colors here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we do have your classic just black which is just a staple. If you're gonna buy one black and eighth ounce, it's probably gonna be the, the number one for a lot of people. Um, we came up with some awesome names for these things, so when you get here and check these things out or check them out uh, online, they are absolutely phenomenal as far as the colors go that we came up with. So um, pay attention to what you're getting there. The colors are phenomenal, like I said. Uh, one of my favorites, if you have not tried out uh, black and purple, we call this grape ape. It's a it, just a dominant smallmouth color in springtime that not a, a lot of people throw. Um, that purple just adds something a little bit different. I mean, these smallmouths see black hair jigs constantly. Um, so the reason we added a couple of different colors in here is simply because it shows them something a little bit different. They see the, your, your olive greens, your browns, your blacks. Very consistently we made um, which one is called angel hair. It's basically a gray, like a shad color with a little bit of flake um, or flash in there. Phenomenal bait fish imitation color. Uh, obviously we have the chartreuse color, called this one Granny Smith for that, that bright, vibrant green color there. Smallmouth key on chartreuse all year long, so that is just a phenomenal bait, especially if that water gets a little bit stained um, people think you can't throw a hair jig and, you know, when that water gets a little cloudy and stuff like that. That is a phenomenal one to throw. Then we have combinations of all these, you know, we've got like the, uh, the caramel apple, which is that obviously Granny Smith with, with that, uh, that caramel color brown on top of it. Just a phenomenal mix of color options there. So some unique ones, something you want to definitely have in your arsenal. If you're going to fish Clearwater Smallmouth this spring, and like I said, pay attention to some of the weights that are gonna come in from the Sturgeon Bay Open today and tomorrow. And I bet some of the biggest bags are gonna come on some of these hair jigs and some of the baits we posted yesterday. Thanks for watching, guys. Swing in, they're in the back here. We can take you right to them if you need to ask. Um, but like I said, would not go chasing smallmouth without.